do a very quick flip through of the last journals that I put in the Etsy shop and that I did a video of. Um, some ladies kindly, they made a comment but I've also had messages saying that the bottom of this one, you couldn't see it. Um, so apologies. I'm still new to taking these videos uh, and trying to deal with the camera but anyway, it's no excuse so I'm really sorry and I'm going to just whiz through this without any talking, you'll be pleased to know. <laughs> Uh, just so that you can see it, you can see all of it, just so that you can see all of it. So without any more talking, I'll check them in frame and I'll whiz through. Gosh, I was out of frame again. I'm going to have to do some kind of mark so that I know where I am. So as I said, I'm going to just whiz through. Let's go on this open. This is Bellum.
it's just a tuck. And the flip. And that's where I did put um, another two journaling cards I did see in the video. So I've added one there and one in the vellum pocket with the notes that just say stay focused. And another vellum pocket here with another flower that I've put in vellum on there. I thought that was pretty. Tim Holtz paper. And I have to say again, I thought this ledger was a great find. It was from the 1890s. I think if not earlier, some of the first um, writing that I have on the original one that I have. Look how well the paper stood out in time, gosh. And then this is the last one, in case you didn't see it all. That's envelope with another little card. And then there is one in here. This one's been mod podged. Fits in the back. Then you can pop these in any way you like, really. Vellum again, the little ones at the front. Tim Holtz paper, and then the quote at the back that I really like. Ex Libris, and then the as night falls silently all around, she carefully turns the last page quote. I love that. And I hope, as a double check, yep, that I should have stayed in frame. So once again, I hope you like her. I love these little books. I really do. And I think that you could see through all of the medieval, but I'll just whiz through her very quickly unless my battery dies, just so that you can see everything here. Of course, hers is, her papers are from, not Tim Holtz, but Medieval Mirage, the shop in Etsy that's linked below. Again, I won't go through it all because I have told you all about it in the other video. I'm just going to make sure you can see it all. That's a pocket. Vellum. With holding. Envelope. Nice stamping. Again, flowers. Tuck. Some more journaling cards. Again, the back of the signature, which has got a lovely card. Beautiful paper. And this one has the music for the church. More stamping. Another two cards. Stamping again. Level up again. Another stitched journaling card. And then at the front of this one, there's a hidden pocket. I'm trying to hurry, that's why I'm going to make a mess of it, with two little ones. Then there's a flip out here. Another two cards tucked in here. I love this flower. 
Again, our rose. At the back, another card, index paper. And then this one is the one that has the key. I won't put it in just now. Another two cards, whoops, to go in the pocket. And this has got a front tuck as well. Front pocket. Flowers at the bottom. Flowers. Little crow as you can hear. I think you could see these clearly in the other video. And I did explain this in the other video as well. And the little one behind. Again, two, front pocket. I thought it picked up the red nicely from the easy holding. Then there is the card behind, that's the others I've got. Index this time, backed onto. And then this one's tabbed, sewn and stitched coffee dyed paper. Tuck. This is the flip out on this one. Just a few sheets of paper. And then to match the castle on the other page. I'll fix those in later so we can whisk through before my battery dies completely. More stamping. And again, another envelope. Another two matching cards. Stamping again. I'll double tuck this one. Front and back. Another two cards. Vellum. Another lovely card to write or put a picture on. And then the tabbed card at the front of the next one. Another tab here, tab I should say, then the vellum pocket here, again a little booklet, bits of paper, journal on, and then at the front there's another pocket here, and I've just put another little booklet and tucked it in so that you can see it. Nice flower. Vellum. Side tuck. And then the last. Another backed on to an index card. And I'll put that in a minute. And then the back page. There's some cards. Again, these ones are stitched round on coffee dyed. Tag, card. And another piece of paper to journal it right on. So what I, should, what I meant to say was as well is I love how flat these books lie. And um, these journals, that's one of the reasons I like them. Um, they're really, they lend themselves really well to journaling. So easy. So apologies again for the, the mix up, with the, not mix up, just my mistake with the videos. I hope that you've been able to view both of them this time. Thanks for letting me know and thanks for your comments. Uh, thank you.